Sally Hancock here with another video. I was watching Dear Julie Julie and she was doing a junk journal challenge with items found at the Dollar Tree and that was the challenge was from the I'm a Cool Mom channel and I thought gosh that sounds like fun I've never made a junk journal but my sisters have made some beautiful ones and so I thought this sounds like a really fun challenge, so I'm gonna give it a try. So the book I picked from the Dollar Tree is this, uh, this book here, and I liked the size, and I liked the cover. And it's called In the Red, so I thought maybe I could do some red elements with it. So I'll have the book, and then I can use some of the book pages. Oh, you can only spend $15, so it was challenging to narrow it down, but I think this book will work. And then I got this sketch pad that I'm going to coffee dye the papers, and that will be the main papers for my journal. I also got some parchment paper that I can make different elements out of. I got some clasp envelopes. And then I thought it would be fun to have some coloring pages in there. So when you're bored or whatever, you can just do some coloring. I also got this calendar that I thought might be nice to have a few little inspirational quotes. So they'll be the main calendar pages, plus I can use some of these little squares on the back. Then I found these really pretty white flowers that I thought would be good because I could color them any color and I thought, how am I gonna color them? So then I found these permanent markers that have several different colors so I can use these to ink edges and color in any elements that I'd like. Then I found this um, bow and some little raffia string that I thought could be fun to add some elements. And I got this red, what's it called? Diamond wrap to add some sparkle. And I found new colors of paper clips. And I thought that could be fun to clip some things in there. Got these blank note cards. I thought that color was really pretty. And some index cards. And I got some white fabric paint that I think I'll water down to maybe cover over some of the words on the book pages so you can draw on them or write on them. And they had this really cute washi tape and I got these napkins, which kind of inspired me for my color palette. I liked the geometric design and thought it could go with lots of different things with all the colors. So then, that is all my things. I may change my mind, because I also found this book, which I really like this size. It just seems perfect for a journal size. And then it has this really pretty color of yellow on the cover. And it's called The Last Dogs. And it also has some illustrations in it of dogs that I thought would be cute to cut out and make a dog themed journal. So if I do this one, I also found a pet coloring book that could be fun to add some elements and these really cute realistic pet stickers that could be fun to add so and then use the other elements because I'm sure I won't use them all so I thought a lot of these things can go with either journal so I may make just one or I may make two I don't know we'll see how the first one goes this is going to be a challenge for me because I like things neat and I have to have rules of this is how you do it and this is, you know, you do this step and that step where this is 
whatever you want. So I might have a challenge with this, but it will be good for me. So I will be back soon to show you how my journal turned out. Thank you for watching.